Hello, my name is Daniel Sochner and I'm a strategic technical architect for Salesforce Data Cloud based in Melbourne, Australia. And in this short 10 minute video, I will demonstrate how to get answers to technical questions about Salesforce products from a knowledge base using Data Cloud, Einstein Copilot and Prompt Builder all underpinned by RAG technology and no code configuration. We will start with a knowledge base that contains articles in unstructured format. These are articles about Salesforce products such as Marketing Cloud and Data Cloud, and they're stored in various formats such as PDF, HTML, and text. And what we wanna achieve is to create a Einstein Copilot action in Einstein Copilot that searches through the knowledge base and provides answers to the users on questions about those Salesforce products. We will be using a combination of cloud storage in AWS, as well as data clouds, specifically vector database and RAG technologies, which is retrieval augmented generation. And we will be using Einstein Copilot for the conversational aspects of the solution. The first step is to upload the knowledge-based articles in unstructured format to cloud storage in AWS. I created a folder called Salesforce Docs, which contains a mixture of unstructured data in PDF, HTML, and text format. For example, a couple of data cloud reference and implementation guides, as well as an almost 4,000 page Apex reference guide. Next step is to configure a serverless Lambda function in AWS that will notify Data Cloud that new articles have been uploaded to cloud storage. Next step is to ingest the metadata of the knowledge base articles into an unstructured data lake object in Data Cloud and map it into an unstructured data model object. When you go into the Data Explorer in Data Cloud and select the newly created data model object, you will see that it references the metadata of the knowledge base articles, not the actual content. That will happen in the search index. Next step is to create a search index that will reference the content of the knowledge base articles and split it into smaller chunks. It will use a hybrid search approach, searching for both semantic similarity as well as an exact lexical matching of search terms. This step will also create a no code retriever in Einstein Studio so there is no Apex code required. You can view this again in Data Explorer by going to the corresponding data model object where you will see that the content of the source records that are still residing in cloud storage in AWS has been split up in chunks of roughly the same size. In Einstein Studio, you can view the default retriever that was created when creating the search index. And that will be used to search in the vector database for content that matches with our search query. Next step is to create a new prompt in Einstein Prompt Builder. The prompt instructs an external large language model to summarize the identified content from the search index in less than a hundred words. This step demonstrates the value of RAG or retrieval augmented generation, since the result that the large language model sends back to the user will be based on curated and trusted content coming out of the knowledge base. We create our new prompt template in Prompt Builder. In this case, we use the Flex Prompt template type. We provide it with a name, Salesforce Doc Search, 
and an optional template description. Our source is the search query in free text that a user will type into Einstein. Now in the prompt template workspace, we can now start crafting our prompt. It looks as follows. This text below contains text excerpts from Salesforce documents and knowledge articles that were found for the following search term. Now here we have to provide a reference to the search query that a user will put into Einstein. Use this information to write a brief summary in two to three paragraphs less than 100 words long. Make sure you address the question or keywords addressed in the search term. Add the name of the source files or files that were used to provide the answer. The results are, and here we have to provide the prompt with the results of the search in the vector database that our retriever has performed. That retriever was created automatically when creating the search index. Now we're almost done. The only thing we have to configure is the search text in the search parameters, which again is our search query or the search query that a user will utilize. And we also have to provide the large language model that we will use to create the summary for our content. In this case, we're using the OpenAI GPT-4 Turbo model. We're now ready to save our prompt. Next step is to create a new action in Einstein Copilot based on the prompt in Prompt Builder. Let's create the Copilot action with the reference action type prompt template and the prompt Salesforce doc search we created earlier. The copilot action will require input, which is the search query from the user. This input will first be sent to the search index to retrieve the chunks of content most suitable to answer the query and then to the LLM to create the two to three paragraph summary. The final step is to add the newly created action to Einstein Copilot and test it by providing a search term that will send the prompt and the results from the search index to an external large language model, in this case from OpenAI, and provide an answer back to the user. Let's open our Copilot in Copilot Builder. We can see that there's already a couple of Copilot actions assigned to our Copilot. And when we go to our Copilot action library, we can see our Salesforce doc search Copilot action that we can now assign to our Copilot. The final step before we can test our solution end to end is to activate our copilot. Now let's do an end to end test and fire up Einstein. The first question I will ask is how to configure permission sets in data cloud. This input will first send the search query to the index in data cloud containing the unstructured data from our cloud storage and retrieve the chunks that answer the question about permission sets best. That is what retrieval augmented generation is all about. It will then send those results plus the prompt to the large language model, in this case OpenAI, to generate the summary paragraphs. The result contains a good summary about permission sets in data cloud and also references the source document, in this case, a data cloud admin implementation guide, a PDF, 
used to come up with the answer. Now let's ask a second question. How do sandboxes work in Salesforce? While Einstein is busy reasoning, it is a good time to talk about the trust layer because that is what is happening right now. Before the prompt with the retrieved data is sent to the LLM, any personal data are masked and the result from the LLM is checked for any toxicity. Salesforce also adheres to a zero data retention policy, meaning that no customer data, including the prompt text and generated responses are stored outside of Salesforce. Voila, we have our summary about Salesforce sandboxes. And as before, Einstein also used one of the sources in our unstructured data search index in data cloud to come up with the answer. Thank you very much for listening to this short demo video. I hope you enjoyed it.